When selecting a site to monitor water quality, we typically want to stay away from private property, instead choosing to go with a place with public access, like a right-of-way or a park. You can see here I've parked my car off the road and away from traffic, very near the creek bridge behind me. When approaching your sampling site, be very careful of steep inclines in places where you could lose your footing, possibly twisting an ankle. Also, due to the prevalence of fire ants and snakes in Texas, you want to be very careful to be on the lookout for them as well. Approach your site very quietly to not disturb the wildlife and the ambient conditions on your site so that you can note them on, in your field observations. Then conduct your field observations. First field observation is flow severity. When looking at flow severity, the best indication is the water level on the banks of the water body. Record a 6 for dry if there is no water in the stream bed at all. Consider the site dry if there are no visible pools of water. Record a 1 for no flow if the water body does not flow downstream. Record this value if there are disconnected pools of water without even a trickle of flow between them. Record a 2 for low flow if there are some visual cues that would reveal the water body usually has more water in it. These include a dry creek or lake bed between the water surface and the normal shoreline plants, or aquatic plants and algae that are now lying out of the water. Record a 3 for normal flow if there is not any exposed bank or submerged vegetation and the water level looks normal. Record a 4 for flood conditions. Do not sample during flood conditions. Please just record a 4 here and do not continue sampling. Record a 5 for high flow when the water body is at a higher level than normal. One of the best clues of high flow is partially submerged shoreline vegetation that is normally out of the water. Flow severity here at this site is normal, as there is no exposed bank that reveals that the water might have been at a higher level recently, as well as there's no submerged vegetation which would constitute a high flow. Algae cover is important due to its relationship with dissolved oxygen. Too much algae can demand oxygen when it decomposes, thus removing it for use by the aquatic life. For this field observation, the monitor should be looking for surface as well as substrate algae cover. This is an approximation of percentage. Record a 1 if there is a complete absence of algae. Record a 2 if there are small patches of algae that do not exceed 25% of the total area seen at the site. Record a 3 if there are noticeable substrate or surface mats of algae with a 26 to 50% coverage. Record a 4 if there is obvious algal cover that might be thick in some places with a 51 to 75 percent coverage. Record a 5 if the site is choked with algae. Almost the entire substrate or surface is covered. The water surface field observation describes the appearance of the water surface. Record a 1 if the water surface is generally clear. Record a 2 if there is noticeable scum or film on the water surface. Record a 3 if there is foam on the water surface. This usually looks a lot like bath suds. 
Record a four if there is any floating debris. This is usually observed after a flood. Record a five if there is a sheen on the surface. This can be caused by oil or tree sap. The water surface here is to be considered clear as there is no demonstrated scum, debris, or foam on the water surface. While the water conditions field observation is intended primarily for lakes, ponds, and bays, it is important to understand these conditions in a creek or river as well as it can affect the amount of aeration into the water body that can increase dissolved oxygen levels. Record a one if the water surface is calm with an almost glass-like look. Record a two if there are ripples on the surface. Record a three for waves. Record a four if there are noticeable white caps, which are usually caused by turbulence. Water conditions here today are ripples. As the water is flowing under the bridge and over the pipes here, it's creating ripples in the water body. To record present weather conditions, remember that only one cloud in the sky constitutes as cloudy. So record a one if there are no clouds whatsoever. Record a two if there is cloud cover. and record a three if the cloud cover makes up the majority of the sky. If there is any precipitation at all, record a four for rain. When recording the days since significant precipitation and rainfall accumulation, the last three days, a good source for this data is www.weather.com. Type in the nearest town or zip code to the site and on the resulting page, click on the monthly tab. Daily precipitation totals for the current and previous month can be seen. Write the rainfall accumulation for the last three days in the space provided. We should aim for a sample depth of as close to 0.3 meters or one foot as possible. Therefore, to properly execute a bucket grab, we want to allow the bucket to sink a little bit so we're not grabbing only the, the surface water and we're not disturbing the substrate and stirring up sediment. It works well to do the watercolor observation once the water has been collected in a bucket or beaker and it can be compared to a white background. What may appear to be the water's color is often just the color of the stream or lake bed or a reflection of trees or the sky above. However, we'll look at what different watercolors might look like in the water body before being collected in the bucket. Record a one for no color. Record a two for a light green color. Record a three for a dark green color. Record a four for a tan color. Record a five for a red color. Record six for a dark green or brown color.
Record 7 for a black color. Water clarity may be done after the bucket grab. The relative cloudiness of the water should be observed. Record a 1 if the water is clear. Record a 2 if the water is milky or cloudy. Record a 3 if the water is very turbid, which should be noticeable in the bucket or beaker. The water odor should be observed by first collecting water in the bucket and then wafting the odor towards your face. If any strong smell is present, do not move your face in closer to the water. Record a 1 if there is no odor. Record a 2 if the odor is of oil. Record a 3 if the odor is acrid or pungent. This can be known as a very sharp and bitter odor. Record a 4 if the odor is of sewage. Record a 5 if the odor is of rotten egg. Record a 6 if the odor is fishy. Record a 7 if the odor is musky or smells of body odor. Use the blank comments and observations box to record any other observations that were not captured through the field observations portion of the data form. This should include observations such as aquatic life, birds, or other wild or domestic animals near the water body. Or any human recreation like boating, fishing, or swimming. Or possibly any other points of interest like litter on the banks or other evidence of human recreation. Now I'm ready to start my chemical monitoring. It is important to accurately record the total time spent sampling and traveling, the total round trip distance traveled, as well as the total number of participants. The EPA values volunteer time at $20 per hour. This helps to secure Texas Stream Team's future funding to conduct water quality trainings and outreach events across the state of Texas.